Tactic allows you to build out your workflow using the workflow editor and execute this workflow using the workflow engine. In this video, we will demonstrate automated decisions using the conditional node. The conditional node allows you to select streams in your workflow. This means that you can encode all logical cases in one workflow diagram, but not necessarily execute all cases. The conditional achieves this with simple API scripts entered directly into the node. Here I have a tactical open source project to manage patients and procedures such as surgeries. Data management surrounding a healthcare procedure must follow specific protocols and tactic workflows help ensure protocols are followed in all cases. Of course, the need for workflow and proper protocol is standard in many industries, such as financial services and government. We will demonstrate the condition node with this example pipeline in the healthcare data model. I've included three different variants of conditional logic in this workflow. We will look at decisions, verifications, and multiple streams. The first conditional type is a decision. A decision allows you to automate which stream is chosen during workflow execution. In the first example, we will input a new surgical request. This surgical request will include a health card number for a patient and data related to contraindications the patient might have. Once I create the request, I will create the task for the surgery. This will create all tasks in the workflow, although we will not use them all. The tasks that are not used will be marked not required. First, I mark the data input task complete, and the first decision is made, which checks if the patient is already in the system. If a patient is in the system, the patient input task is not required. If the patient is not in the system, the patient input task receives the pending message. The second type of conditional is a verification. Here we will use a check on data in the system and either return true or false. In this case, we will check if the patient of the surgery request has been entered and only proceed if so. False will push back to the previous step in the workflow and set an input task to revise. True will push forward in the workflow and send a pending message to output processes. The third type of conditional is multiple streams. Chosen streams will receive a pending message and streams that are not chosen will be marked not required. In this example, the conditional node will check the contraindications indicated on the surgical request form and choose which specialist to refer to in the case of surgery. On execution, we see required tasks receiving the pending message and not required tasks marked not required. In this video, I have showed you tactics ability to automate decisions, create verification steps, and specify protocols using the workflow editor and workflow engine. These tools can be applied to any business logic and can be used in sophisticated business systems, as you have seen with the healthcare example. Combine this with other services like the Tactic API, Notification System, and JobQ, and you can build out any business process you need.